फाइव वेलकम एवरी वन दिस इज अशोक कुमार सर्वे पर यू वी गोन अ सी मेन्सुरेशन ऑन अवर एप्टीट्यूड सीरीज दिस इज एन इंट्रोडक्शन सेशन ऑन द मेन्सुरेशन सी वी गोन अ सी द डिफरेंट टू डी थ्री डी शेप्स एंड दर एरिया पेरीमीटर्स एंड वॉल्यूम्स सो मेन्सुरेशन इज क्वाइट इंपॉर्टेंट इन आर डे टू डे लाइफ वी सी लॉर्ड ऑफ थिंग्स दट आर इन द शेप ऑफ अ स्क्वायर रेक्टांगल क्यू क्यू बॉय so it is very important to know how the perimeter and area calculations are done and how the area has been projected how the volume has been calculated and everything fine so first to start with we will discuss on the basic 2d shapes and i am not going to give you the formula directly as much as possible i am going to tell you how the formula came because when you actually solve the problems the combination of solids right you will not use the direct formulas you will merge the formulas and you will devise your new formulas but is and they will test you the better understanding of the shapes and the figures okay we will start with the 2d figures now so so we're going to start on the basic 2d figures Fine. So the first thing you're gonna study about the square. Assume it as a square. Fine. So you have a side of a square. Let the side of a square is A. What is a square first? All four sides are equal. It's a 2D figure. Fine. So before that, you need to understand what is 2D, 1D, and 3D. Yeah. So if you understand this better, you, we can move it. What is one dimension? What is two dimension? What is three dimension? One dimension. is in a figure which has only length a straight line is a one dimension your figure which has length and a breadth length as well as breadth is two dimension so for example a square a rectangle a triangle a circle all those things on other words a flat figure which doesn't have any height a circle rectangle triangle and a square all these things are 2d Which has a length and a breadth. In terms of a circle, it's around, and it doesn't have any height. It's flat. When the height is negligible, it is a 2D figure. When it is in only one direction, it is a 1D figure. What about 3D figure? 3D is somewhere. It has length, breadth, and height. So, our screen here is 2D. I am projecting a 3D. That's why I am trying to draw like this to project the height in this cube. So you can find feel the height here. So that is called 3D figure. So basically, when you see You draw a line that is one D. A sheet of paper is two D because that it contains a length and breadth. Your book is called a three D because it contains a considerable thickness. One more example: the room. In the room, if you draw a line, it is one D. The floor in the room is a two D. The room itself is three because the room has length, breadth, and as well as height. For three D, we speak it as a volume. For two D, we consider it as an area. Fine. Now we will see the actual each and every figure. So when coming to square again, so square is a figure which all sides are equal. Let the edge edge of the square be A. So what will be the area of the square and perimeter of the square? First, going to the formula, you need to understand the definition of the formula. What is a perimeter? Perimeter is nothing but a person is here in the boundary of a square and he walks along all the four sides and comes to the same point. So the distance travelled by him along the boundary of the surface. So perimeter is nothing but the distance boundary of the surface. Distance travelled on the boundary, right? Distance travelled on the boundary of the surface. So this may be you may be wondering. I know the perimeter formula. Why you need to know this? You need to know because when you know the understanding of what is a perimeter. If I combine a new figure or give some other thing, you will be able to do. Find it out. So, what will be the perimeter of a square? Each side is a, and he starts from the first side and walks a plus a plus a plus a. That's gonna be four a, which is the perimeter of a square. Now, coming to area. Area is nothing but you place a matchstick of length a, and you keep on placing the matchsticks of length a until the width also becomes a. Typically, what you will achieve? You will achieve a square. Assume this other square. 
so yeah so i will repeat again you place a matchstick of length a and you keep on placing matchsticks one below another until you get a breadth also so typically the area of the square is a into a matchsticks you are placing which is a square the area is nothing but the inner one this part enclosed part okay so area of the square is a square so perimeter of the square is 4a fine okay now we going to see about next thing is a rectangle so a rectangle is opposite sides are equal in a square all the four sides are equal in a rectangle the opposite sides are equal so length and breadth so how what about the perimeter the definition remains the same perimeter is the boundary length so the definition is remains the same so it is length plus breadth plus length plus breadth so it will be two times of l plus two times of b we used to say two times of l plus b you should not buy hard at all it should be understandable fine when it comes to the area again i will tell place a matchstick of length l and keep on placing the matchstick of same length until a considerable height of b in terms of square we made that uh, width also of the same as length now here the area is nothing but l into b so which is this fine okay so this is about rectangle this is nothing but perimeter and this is nothing but area okay fine so now we are going to see about triangle a triangle is a three sided yeah a triangle is a three sided closed figure fine so to find the area of a triangle is nothing but half times base into height so i have a base and a height so how to find the height in a triangle in a right angle triangle you can easily find the height the height is e this will be the height and base but in a equilateral triangle it will be different you need to find the height either using pythagoras theorem or using scale and triangle heron's formula you know heron's formula it is root of s into s minus a s minus b and s minus c so s is nothing but here as a half perimeter s is equal to a plus b plus c divided by 2 so the meaning of it is the perimeter half perimeter once you calculate this you need to put into the square root of this abc or the sides of the triangle and you will get this formula works for any triangle fine half bh works for the right angle triangle when the height and base are known if the height is not known it's our thing to find the height okay so this is so when it comes to the perimeter of the triangle yeah you start from here walk all three sides which is so simple a plus b plus c will be the perimeter and this is nothing but the area and this is a general formula for the area s c to s minus a s minus b s minus c fine now coming back again So we discussed uh, square, we discussed a rectangle, and we discussed triangle. And I told you what is a one dimension, two dimension, three dimension. Now I am going to tell about a circle. Yes. So circle is also a two D figure. Assume it is a circle. Okay. So okay, fine. So what are the properties of a circle? What is the circumference of a circle? In terms of square, rectangle, and triangle, we talked the. We were. Able to tell the perimeter is a boundary surface. Similarly, in circle, we will not call it as a perimeter. We call it as a circumference. You started here and walk along the circular track and reach the same point. So, circumference of a circle is two pi r. You may ask, how is that possible? Yeah, it is measured. Any circle you draw, you will see that the length of the circle. How will you measure the circumference of the circle? You break the circle and you make into a single wire. Suppose a circular wire is like this. I am cutting it, and then you come like a Horizontal wire. When you measure it, you will get this times of this. What is r? R is nothing but the radius of the circle. We know pi. Pi is nothing but twenty-two by seven. And similarly, the area of the circle is being enclosed here. So area will be equal to pi times r square. Fine. So when area is pi times r square, circumference is two pi r. 
I'm going to tell you how pi came into existence. What is pi? 22 by 7. Why pi is not there in uh, square, rectangle, or a triangle? Why circle has the significance? What is the use of pi? Why is this? So, experimentally speaking, what that would have been done is, if you see, uh, experimentally speaking, what that could have been done is, in a circle, you draw a smaller circle, or you draw a circle as this much big, or this much big, or size of your road, or earth, or whatever it is, you could have the radius. This is a smaller one, this is big, large, and this is much more large, right? You will have the radius. So, measure the radius or the diameter. You know what is the diameter? Diameter is nothing but the twice of the radius, 2R. So, measure the radius or the diameter of the circle. Once you measure radius or the diameter of the circle and also measure the circumference. What is circumference? Which is nothing but 2 pi R. Fine. So, meaning if someone measure the circumference of the circle and if that comes around 10, and diameter he measured that comes around 3 and the ratio of the circumference and the diameter always yielded some value called 3 point some some value I'm just this is assumption so 3.14 something so always they end up putting some value okay so that is nothing but pi it is the ratio of the circumference and the diameter for any type of circle smaller one larger one or size of an earth a dot or whatever it is that circumference how will you find the circle? Break the circle, cut the circle and measure its length. Okay, it will be like a single one dimensional wire. Fine. And measure the diameter of the circle. When you divide that, the circumference with the diameter, what I am trying to say, 2 pi r by 2 r will give you pi. So the device is constant because it is not possible to always cut the circle and measure the circumference, right? You need to get some formula, they establish the relationship. That is the relationship between the diameter and the circumference of the circle. So the diameter is 2r and circumference is 2 pi r. Okay. So that is how the circumference. Circumference is the actual distance along the boundary, the total one revolution. So for a circle to complete one revolution, the distance covered is also 2 pi r. Okay. Hope it helped you. In the next video, we will see about 3D shapes and its actual formula, what is the volume and so on. And then we will solve uh, around 13 to 14 sums that are going to help you in learning mensuration very well. Yes. Thanks for watching.